Hey everybody, it's Pam from Nana's Crafting Cottage back with you again with another fun project and still in collaboration with Artful Era Gallery. Welcome to all my new subscribers and welcome back to my current subscribers. I am so happy you're here and that you are joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Today we are going to use, yep, junk mail envelope. Um, and today we're going to do a pocketed belly band. I saw this on Angela Kerr Designs and she uses a lot of junk mail envelopes so she's right up my alley. <laughs> okay so I've picked out this envelope. I've already figured out where I want to cut it, the measurements, so I will cut that with you. I am using this piece of uh, paper from Artful Era Gallery to cover this tag. I thought these labels here would be uh, appropriate because I am using this young lady for the front of the pocket on the belly band. And I am using this document paper as the background. So I thought put that and that and in between this and this piece I will be putting some pretty lace. So I thought that would be appropriate. So I have this cut close to size. So and then I have a um, phrase to go on the front and I am going to use this piece of ephemera to make the tab for the top of my tag. So I have everything right here, I believe. <laughs> okay, so let's cut this piece first. I didn't cut this uh, ahead of time on purpose because I wanted to do it on camera. Let me get my cutter here. So I get my little guillotine cutter here and we will cut this piece to size. Hopefully, oh, let's do this side first and then I can fit it in properly. Let's see, I want to get a straighter edge here. All right, yes, yeah, seven inches is what I am going to make this. Okay, and you can always use this for something else. And then I will cut it this direction. Okay. Just off of this, I can use this too. So I'm going to put that in with my scraps. And then here is the piece. Of course, it will be sealed up down here. Okay. Now, what I need to do is get this covered. And I think... I goofed and didn't get a piece to cover that. So let's get some out here. Um, or did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Never mind. Never mind me. Okay, I'm going to get this out and use the music paper side. I like that. So we will get this up toward the top like that and I will mark where to cut. Okay, I'm just going to cut one side 
and then fit it on there and trim it off because I'm not very good at making it at the exact size and getting it um, straight on there. All right, so we'll cut that. And I think we can go ahead and be safe to do this side too. All right, there we go. Okay. Now we will go ahead and let me put that away. Okay. Now we can go ahead and place that on. In fact, I will place it like this because I can see better where I am. So I am going to use my art glitter glue for this. And before I do that, I want to, okay, where's my, where's my blade? Um, I've obviously moved my blade somewhere else, but I will get this open here carefully. Did I need to do that? No, I did not need to do that. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oi, it must be too early in the morning for me. Yes, it needs to be sealed up. This is the base piece. Duh. It's not the pocketed piece. All right, never mind. So let's go ahead and I was thinking this was the pocket piece, but it is not. I'm putting the pocket piece on here, on the top. Okay, make sure it's not upside down now. That would be my next trick of the day. Okay, so there we go. Yeah. All right. Now, where did I put my little craft knife? Really? Here it is. I put it where it really belongs. How about that? Okay. Let's get my ruler out and trim this off. Come on, straight would be nice. There we go. So, let's get this side done, okay, all right, here we are, okay, so that's the belly band piece, that's the main piece, okay, now I want to get it inked up and because this is all lighter papers again I'm going to use my vintage photo that way it's not so dark so I hope everyone's day is well so far I'm filming this ahead and um, It'll be out on Tuesday, and this is Thursday before that. I told you the last video about all the goings-ons in our household last in the last week. My hand that I did the little crop surgery on is doing well. She's back with her sisters. Okay, there we go. Got that. Now, I have the piece picked out. That's the main belly band piece. Okay, and then here is the tag, and this is what I wanted to put on here. So, what I will do 
is, see where the center of it is. I think it's right about there, but I want this up here, about like that. And let me do this. And I'll cut that so that it is a more managing level to get it glued on. Okay, I've been having a lot of fun working with Artful Era Gallery papers. Um, these things are amazing. I mean, they're they're beautiful papers. They um, you can do so many things with them. I've been very very fortunate that she gave these kits to me, the bird one and this one. And I do still have her shop linked below. So I hope you go and check her out. She has a lot of beautiful things. Very well priced. Um, yeah, it's really a wonderful shop. Okay, let's put that down. There we go. Okay, now let's trim this down. It's a lot easier and faster than scissors and I can do it a lot straighter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there. Alright, so there's the tag part. I like that. So we will ink that up and then I wanted to use this for the top so I'll go ahead and get that punched out. This is my big whale tail, call it a whale tail punch. And I'll put it in here like this. tweezers here to get it down in there properly. Come on, let it go, let it go. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. There is that. Okay, and that will go at the top. Like that. Yeah, okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and ink that up. It hasn't been quite as hot, well it wasn't quite as hot yesterday, it was just in the 80s instead of in the 90s. The other day when I uh, filmed, I think I mentioned that I looked one minute it was 94 and the next minute it was 99 the other night and so yeah it was pretty, pretty gruesome. This is not fun at all. 
Okay, and then I'm going to also ink the back of this, but I'm not going to cover it with anything because um, it's a good writing space. I just used cream color cardstock on here. It's not super heavy, but it's heavy enough to um, be able to put it in and out of the holder. Okay, and then this will go on here like that. I think it will just fit. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Okay, and I always like to do the front first get it just right and then clamp it up. So there is the tag portion for this. Okay, so we got that. Now to work on this piece. And this piece I want to have pretty well in the center here. Um, so I'll mark where I want to cut on the sides. And these, um, gosh, where did I? <laughs> Yeah, just trying to find the marks now. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I gotta mark it up here better. Oy. So I can see the darn things. There and there. Alright. Anyway, the um templates I got off of Angela Kerr Designs uh, website. So if you um, want those, you can find them on her uh, AngelaKerrDesigns.com website. I don't believe she has her Etsy anymore. There were issues. So you can get everything off of that. Okay, and then this will get glued right on there. But before I want to do that, I want to put some lace down underneath it. And this is the lace that I have chosen. I think it's really pretty. So let me close this glue up and get my fabric tack out. And get that put on. I laid it on its side so I didn't have to wait forever for it. <laughs> okay, and then here it sounds like my husband is. I don't need the glue down there, Pam. Well, I'll get it for the paper. Um, I'm going to do this right like that. And then I will do this. Start here. And do it like Yeah, let me make sure it's going to look even on both sides. Okay. And then let's trim this off. Okay. And now... You will get this put on. 
but I want to um, ink it up first, at least on three sides. And then I can do the top after I do the thumb notch. All right, now I can do the glue here. Come on, baby. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have stood him back up. Okay, here we go. All right. Get the edges real good. I love Fabri-Tac, but it gets very gummy after a while. It works great, it's just it gets very gummy for some reason. Okay, so let's put this here. Follow it on up. Ooh, that looks pretty, I like that. Alright, so that would be that. Let's trim this at the top. Okay, and then let's do our thumb notch here. It is right side up. Yep, okay. <laughs> that would be my luck this morning, I'll tell you. Okay, let's eyeball it and punch. Perfect. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, here are the gluing points back here. So it will go on like that. Okay, now let's get our young lady on here. I think she's really, really, really pretty. So we will get her on this piece. Um, no, I think I'll just, just ink and not worry about the edges. I think I like her just the way she is. And these, all these papers I'm using are from Artful Air Gallery. Okay, let's get the straps out of here, out of the way. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to use my heart glitter glue. Let's get her put on. All right, and then we'll get her right about here, kind of centered on the tag there as best I can. Yeah, and I had trimmed her ahead of time, so, so she would fit. And then I'm going to use this phrase, focus on the good, and we'll get that inked up and put on while we have her here. Oop. Okay, get my tweezers here. There we go. And I thought this direction would be in order. Okay, perfect. Let me get you out of the way so I don't whack my finger off there. That would be something I would do. <laughs> okay, there's that. 
and then she will get glued on here like this. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll use my art glitter glue again. all these areas okay and I will put it down right about there oh, yes hold it for a bit There we go. Okay. Oh, she's pretty. I like her. I like her a lot. And then here is the tag to go in it. Yay! So there is our pocketed belly band. Cool. With Artful Air Gallery papers and lace. Now you can glue the, the belly band down on your page. Make like this is your page. You would glue it here and glue it here. And then you can put something else underneath here too. Perfect. And it's just the right size for a journal page. Yeah. So I hope you like this project. I hope you give it a try. It's very easy. Uh, the template, I, like I mentioned, came from Angela Kerr Designs. If you're interested, go on over there and get those template kits. And this is Artful Air Gallery Papers. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It wasn't super long, thankfully, and I hope you give in any of this a try, um, and I will see you on the next video. Have a good day, guys. Bye.